Might as well start at the very beginning. This is a power conversion kit for 68 to 82 Corvette, number 999017. So this is for a manual, original manual car, um, which is what mine is. And as of the making of this uh, video, it costs about 940 something. I got this from Summit, which because I spent, you know, over a certain amount, I got free shipping. And that's awesome. And it, I got to say, man, Summit is pretty awesome. I got this thing in two days from Summit. Uh, and it's heavy. It's, you know, so free shipping on this is incredible. Highly recommended. All right, I'm going to unpack this um, without... I need two hands probably, but let's just see what's here. Okay, so here's hoses. I don't want to get these popcorn things all over the place. But uh, pretty straight ahead. There's your your hoses. Um, that's probably the pulley, I assume. Let's see. What does it say? Yeah. P.S. Pulley GM two-row keyway style. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I can't get the rest of this with one, one hand, so hang on a second. All right, let's have a look at everything. It's all unboxed now. So, as we mentioned, here's the pulley. Pulley looks good. Powder-coated. Clean. And uh, hoses. Then, in this little box, we have the bracket which is obviously going to need some paint at the very least. This is when I really wish I had a powder coating situation. And uh, there are some places nearby me that do powder coating, but they're super expensive. I don't know why. And also, I just want to say that while I appreciate the weld, are you guys trying to save on weld material? <laughs> Look at this. And I know it's just a clamp. It's not going to go anywhere. It's just a spacer. You know, it'll get a bolt through it. But still, it's kind of like, really? Anyway, um, I'm not complaining. I'm just kind of saying. So this will get painted. There's a couple carriage bolts. Blah, blah, blah. And then we have the uh, rag joint, which looks beefy as hell. Looks really good. Uh, except apparently mine has chlamydia. <laughs> I don't know. Again, you guys, like, gee, little little wire brushing couldn't hurt, you know. Maybe I'll do that. I'll probably want to spray at least some clear on this thing. I like the I like the uh, raw metal look, but it, uh, it needs some clear coat or something because it's going to rust right up. And then, and you know, maybe you don't care uh, about that. But so, and then this is our uh, pump. It's slippery. I guess this one has some. Does it have fluid in it? God, it's, oh my God, this thing is heavy. Wow, well, it is beefy. Um, yeah, so I think they, did they fill this? God, it feels really heavy. It looks like it, I think they filled it. it it's so heavy, it's gotta have some fluid maybe. Or maybe they tested it, but damn. I mean, this thing weighs like 20, 25 pounds. I'm serious, it's super heavy. I guess that's heavy duty. Um, and then here is, ready? Ah. Okay, and uh, that's the that's the big beefy beast. So um, yeah, we've got that. I'm assuming into the pitman arm, into the steering column. No, wait, what? Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know where things go. I gotta pull this out. This is. A little bit heavier than the pump. Um, so there we go. Yeah, I'm assuming it goes like where? How does it go? I don't know. I think it goes like that. Um, we'll find out together. But that's the uh, the new steering box.
this is not a car thing specifically but a little pro tip so i bought this tv a while back and this is part of the box and i keep these things uh for this purpose so i'm going to take this it's great for working under the car this thing's super thick too it's like a bonus padding but also uh just to keep the driveway pretty clean if you guys are like me and you're working in your driveway and you don't want to get it all greased up um you put something like this actually let me go this way so right like that it'll make it easier to get in and out of here uh because i'll be working but then more importantly if i drip stuff like i'm about to spray some of this with uh some of these bolts down here they've been in there forever and um they're gonna get some penetrating you know oil right now it'll inadvertently drip down there's fluid that's gonna be in play there's a lot of stuff so i want to protect but also it just you know adds a little slippery action okay let's start disassembling uh i'm just moving wires and things out of the way hoses uh it's pretty accessible down here uh, you're gonna loosen the rag joint with these two nine sixteenths bolts one on each side these come off pretty easy and that will that's all we have to do to detach uh, the steering column from the steering box all right bolts and washers are off bag them and tag them one of the first things I'm going to do is disconnect the pitman arm from the power steering box and then from this, uh, the main steering shaft arm, whatever. Uh, this bolt, FYI, is a 1 and 5 sixteenths. I don't know why, uh, but it has, it's a bolt and a lock washer. Um, I don't have, I have a the largest socket I have is one is one and one quarter. So I was a sixteenth off. Fortunately, just a big open-ended crescent wrench works great, no problem. Um, I have a few pullers here. I'm gonna hook this up and uh, yeah, and then just pull pull the pitman arm off. Let's just see if it. Yeah, it's not gonna move. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna hook that up. Be right back. All right. There's 50 years of service uh, coming off. All right, got the pitman arm off, at least on the uh, steering box. We'll do the same thing up here. Take the castle nut off, pull that off. Actually, I take that back. I'm just going to leave this here because I'm not changing any of this. Uh, I'm not changing anything under here. I didn't have the whatever power ram, just basic steering. So this doesn't really need to come off. Um, I know this is pretty haggard, but I'm, I'm going to look into it. I'm not. I'm just not going to take it off right now because I, I can focus on this other stuff. That's better use of my time. All right, so we're going to pull these nine sixteenths uh, bolts off. There's three of them. One, two, three. On the wheel well side, um, this is what you're going to see. So the two forward bolts, and then there's one right there. Um, and I loosened these. I, have, I guess I got to take this out, but this this thing is not that flexible. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be flexible, but it's not really. So I'm just going to try to reach in there and get that bolt out. It's going to be a challenge getting it back in, though, obviously. So I might have to let me see if I can just take these out real quick and get some more movement. It doesn't move a whole lot. I think it's coming. There we go. All right. So uh, three carriage bolts, three nuts, three washers, bag them up, label them. You're gonna use them. Just an uh, FYI, what I like to do is when I bag up stuff, not just label it, but I spray WD-40 in the bag and then I'll probably run these things through the supersonic cleaner as well but um it doesn't hurt just spray something on it so that when you go to use them again there all the gunk comes off 
All right, uh, with the bolts out that hold this in, the three bolts and the two rag joint nuts off, I was able to free it from the steering column and I think I can pull it out. Let me uh, get it away from the car so I don't drop it on the vehicle. All right, you guys, uh, maybe we'll just do a side-by-side -side comparison of the old steering box with the new one. Um, but uh, there it is. So now we know the orientation in the car. Uh, you can easily see the three bolts and it just sits on your frame like that, basically. Like that, so, all right. Um, I'm not going to weigh it. There's other videos where guys weigh stuff in there. You can look it up or whatever. That's not the important thing. Um, let's take a peek at what we don't have. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally clean that. <laughs> that has been kind of bothering me ever since I got this car. It's so crusty down there, you guys. Uh, this, believe it or not, was not a frame-off restoration. So really, it's pretty simple and not much going on in this area. Of course, the new one will have hoses and everything. But, um, And speaking of which, I guess I had a... Uh, as, I'm, as I'm adjusting the steering column, and I'm looking at maybe keeping it in the car, I did order, I did order a, a lower bearing, but I think I might be able... I mean, I'm going to look at just keeping the steering in. Why not? Uh, this needs to come off for sure. Uh, ooh, it oh, it's actually feels pretty good. I don't know. Do I need bearings? Maybe I just ordered bearings for no reason. Um, yeah, it rolls nice, but I don't know. It feels good, man. Oh, there is a tiny bit of movement, though. I don't know if you can hear that, but... There is a tiny bit of movement, so maybe I maybe the bearings would be a good move. I'll probably pull it. I'm just not looking forward to unhooking all the wires and stuff. Uh, what I was going to say is, as long as, you know, while I'm doing the steering wheel, and, and again, let me just say, this is not a single day project for me. I'm taking multiple days. Also, because I'm waiting on parts, uh, I'm going to do the bracket. It goes down here and it's on the frame uh, and then it comes up and holds the top of the um, power uh, of the steering box and then I need to get the uh, the Saginaw style power uh, steering pump um, hooked up in here and figure out the belts so right now what I have is I have two two belts on the water pump and the crank there's two spaces on the vintage air and I was using the outer, the outer roller on that. So if I could, and I don't know, I don't know what's possible from here, but, um, do I need to get a third, a three and three? I don't know. Um, I got to see, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. So it just seems like there's not going to be a way to hook up the power steering. Well, this is where I have to do some research. Um, the first thing is I'll just mount it with the brackets, you know, and then there'll be the pulley. And then I guess I'm just going to see, you know, we'll just have to see what's what, what I'm looking at and then figure it out from there, uh, whether things need to move forwards or backwards or whatever. All these things can be, you know, moved a little bit. So uh, we'll see. We're going to learn together.